149 down to 148. And we still have that stall on the turnpike. Southbound truck lanes approaching exit 11. That is blocking the right lane. Accident in Bridgewater. Northbound 287 at exit 10. That's on the shoulder, but you're backed up to exit 8 with that. Also busy on eastbound 80 from exit 37 to 43. Eastbound 280 has delays from the parkway to exit 15. Westbound between exit 16 and Bergen Street. Heavy traffic in Edison. Northbound 287 from exit 1 up to 3. And if you are leaving New Jersey at the Lincoln Tunnel, it's an hour. The Holland Tunnel, 30 minutes. And at the George Washington Bridge, we're down to 15 minutes to the upper level. Only 5 to the lower deck. Adam Walski, New Jersey Traffic North. Kyra DeFalco, New Jersey traffic south. We're slow northbound 55 through Deptford to Route 42. 42 northbound is slow from Black Horse Pike to 295. And then in West Windsor, one southbound slows from Washington Road to Alexander Road. Leaving New Jersey from the Ben Franklin Bridge, you will tap the brakes. We've got some delays starting mid-spam. And this report is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Princeton and Mercedes-Benz of Flemington. Discover something new this summer. Amazing offers on exceptional vehicles. Qualified customers only can get up to $4,000 towards select Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Call for details. Family owned and value driven. One legendary brand, two great locations. Traffic every 15 minutes. Our next report at 818 on New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey 101.5 News Time 804. Just days after we told you about a rise in violence against hospital workers comes this. A woman being admitted to Robert Wood Johnson in Somerset stood up from her wheelchair, hit a nurse in the face with an open palm, breaking her nose. She then tried to run but was tackled by security. She's charged with assault. Asbury Park Police and the Monmouth County SPCA still searching for an animal cruelty suspect. Spectators from the town's 4th of July fireworks show found a suitcase floating in Sunset Lake Monday night. Um, subsequently, the, the suitcase was recovered. When the police got there, they opened it up, and they found the carcass of this dog inside. SPCA President Ross LaKeetra says the dog was a young male pit bull, brown fur, white markings, a button found in the bag that read, I love Howard University. The number of rabies cases in Middlesex County continues to rise. A raccoon and a groundhog testing positive after attacking pets in Old Bridge and Spotswood. This portion of the news made possible by Kitta worry-free smoke and carbon monoxide alarms with a sealed-in lithium battery offering 10 years of protection and no more battery chirps, only at the Home Depot. Dan has details of the forecast next. Jersey Radio. I listen in the morning to Bill's video where I'm on my way to work and to Zeminski and Doyle on the way home. New Jersey 101.5. Built for business. Waiting. No one enjoys it. With Comcast Business, you can do less of it. Because Comcast Business Internet is up to five times faster than DSL from the phone company, which means less waiting for things like security backups and file downloads. Plus, it's a better value when you select the fastest plan. So do what nearly a 1,000 businesses do every day and choose Comcast Business, unless you'd prefer to wait. Switch to Comcast Business Internet, then add one voice line and TV for just $34.90 a month for two years, and ask about their low price guarantee. Call 800-501-6000 or visit ComcastBusiness.com. That's 800-501-6000. Comcast Business. Built for business. Offer NSA 3116. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and fees, including broadcast TV fee extra. Compares Comcast 100 megabits per second and 20 megabits per second DSL downloads. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. Bar Justice is responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisements. Service may not be available in all states. Attention. This is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter implanted to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, and even death. If you or a loved one has had an IVC filter implanted, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call the IVC Filter Justice now at 800-880-9619. IBC filters have been known to fracture and cause tearing of the heart, lungs, or vena cava, internal bleeding, pulmonary embolism, and even death. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you at no charge. You pay no fees unless your case is settled. But hurry, time is limited to make a claim, so call now for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. If you or a loved one has had an IBC filter implanted, call IBC Filter Justice now at 800-880-9619. 800-880-9619. That's 800-880-9619. 
New Jersey 101.5 News Time 808. Now New Jersey 101.5 Instant Weather. An excessive heat warning goes into effect for the Philadelphia metro area at 11 o'clock today on the Jersey side of the Delaware River that includes Mercer, Northern, Burlington, Camden, and Gloucester counties. It's a warning, not even an advisory. That means the heat index, the feels like temperature, will approach 100 degrees. Thermometers will read 90s across much of the state today. We'll see sunshine with some clouds building in this afternoon. Overall, a hot and humid summer day. Very muggy and warm tonight. Mostly clear lows only fall to the 70s and we'll do it again tomorrow highs in the 90s heat index around 100 there is a chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon better chance for some storms on friday new jersey weather made possible by jenkinson's boardwalk jenkinson's boardwalk is the place to create memories that will last for generations visit them in point pleasant beach and create some jenks memories of your own visit jenkinson's.com to plan your trip 72 in Bridgewater, Manahawk in 76, Trenton is 74. Download our free app, listen live anywhere, and get instant New Jersey news, weather, traffic from New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey 101.5, our own radio station. Not New York, not Philadelphia. Proud to be New Jersey. New Jersey 101.5. It is 8.09 on New Jersey 101.5. Good morning. I'm Bill Spadia with you at 10 o'clock this morning talking Jersey. Taking your calls, 1-800-283-101.5. So today is our regular installment of Hashtag Digging In With Kim. I'm here with Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. Have a little trouble with the headset? You okay? You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, you got it. Kind of actually. They're new. I think they're new. Are they uncomfortable? No, it's true. Yeah, let me see if I can twist it. All right, let's fix it. So we were digging in with Kim, and now we are fixing the headphones. Now we're fixing headphones. This is what we do. It, we, and watch, he's going to break it. That, see, that does not, that's not a lot of confidence. There you go. Oh, there you go. thank you. All right, Jessica figured that out. That's, uh, that's, Leave it to a woman. <laughs> oh, Doesn't surprise oh, me at all. We're starting right away, right away. So, uh, Kim, we have a new song. No, you do. We do. I we heard do. about it. Yeah, I thought, I thought we played Donna Simon it told me about it. Couldn't Did find it. Did she hear it? She, she, heard, it she heard it. She thought it was great. Brian, go ahead. Let's, Here we go. So, Werewolves of London is how I end the show every day. Right. So this was Paul Porowski from Chasing News. He came up with a little different version of it. I'm almost afraid. I know. It's all good. Sort sure of. it is. Sort of. <laughs> I saw some legislators with ballpoint pens in their hands <laughs> Trying to sign off the TTF with some major gas pains They were looking to lower the tax rate for headlines Making you give up your hard-earned cash again. Is this how you spent your weekend? This is what we do. This is what we do around here. We, we get creative. Vampires of Trenton. Vampires you like that? No, you probably don't like that. They're not necessarily all vampires. True. <laughs> Many of them. This is very funny, though. You ever hear them Wasn't it a holiday weekend? Your door? Yeah, I think this came out on Friday. Yeah. Not right? Yeah, it was done before the weekend. They mutilated the little old assembly building that night. You could put the oh, words on them. So, it's pretty clever. Don't you know? It is. I, I, it, very clever. Vampires so, let, here's, the, here's the issue. So, Vampires of Trenton came out. You know, we were thinking of, of um, what best describes when the legislature gets together and they say, here's how much we're going to spend. And it seems like... For, now... Looking from the outside in, it looks like, don't these guys know this process takes place every year? Right. Every, every year. year. By and, way of the Constitution, right? every so, year. So, like, they know today there's going to be a budget next year. Correct. But instead, 24 hours before the deadline, they're scrambling and wrangling over this spending and that. And I, and I think what that sends, I, I think that what that's doing to the average person in New Jersey, they're saying, well... How do we have any accountability for what you're doing? Because it all seems so rushed and it seems way beyond our ability to pay. Well, you, you know, two things. First, we presented a budget in February right. and the legislature did review that budget throughout the spring. And then they came up with their own budget at the last week. Right. And then the governor got to go through and do, I think, I didn't count, maybe 23 pages of line item vetoes. Yeah. He had I mean, literally pen. one line at a time yeah. and 23 pages. I gave it. him a lot of credit for that. I mean, there was $300 million that came out. And, you know, like all of a sudden, now, but, and then, but it begs the question, how does that $300 million get in in the first place? Well, it, it's a process. Right. And they're hoping you're not looking. 
That's exactly <laughs> right. They, they're hoping we're not paying attention. Right. They hope. And, and it gets worse. You know, the, the, it's not just the signed budget, but, you know, the same day they signed this budget, we, we signed, the governor signed this yeah. budget, there was another appropriations bill. I don't understand that. How can you do a budget that's right. balanced? Right. And then say, oh, but I want this extra $10 million in there. Right. That's I, not in the budget. That not in the budget no. on exactly the same day. This is what drives everybody crazy. Now, you were showing me this website. Right. Uh, now, what is the website? Now, I so, heard you all morning. Yeah. And you were searching through all sorts of documents. Yes. And I wasn't going to give you the pleasure of knowing that all you have to do is go online. See? It's, it's, See how much time I, I wasted? Wanted, I wanted you to suffer for a while. You did. You did. And I've been <laughs> suffering now for two days. Yeah. So all you have to do to know where every single receipt right. is in the state of New Jersey is go to something that's on the treasurer's website called yourmoney.com nj.gov your money.nj.gov yep. and i have it right here okay and so if you want to know where agriculture for example spent a penny yeah and how it was spent so here i can see it let me pull it over here i love it it looks like it it's says, loading a little like, slow like it is because my ipads run a little slow but it says like american farm publications received seven thousand eight hundred and ten dollars and forty cents right um that's what was obligated that then tells you how much was spent and how much more they have to spend. Right. So the question every is every single item see, in the budget. And this is the question. Like so things like that. And this is what I was trying to paint the picture earlier that it's not about the big things. Because you know when you talk about pension and benefit reform, uh, you talk about modeling a future on something that happened in Wisconsin. I've used this example right, where right. they dramatically revamped the way they do collective bargaining, etc. Yeah, well they were Change lucky the they had a legislature that was of the same exactly. party. Exactly. So Right. right, because Governor Walker came in in 2010, and the voters swept out the majorities in both both houses, right. and they gave him a majority, and they said, "All right, do something," and they did. Right. Here, we can't do the big things. I think we have to pay attention to the little things. So I gave the governor credit on the line item, but my thought is, I wonder how much further it could go. So I brought up this leasing thing this morning, yeah, the 150 yeah. million. I I didn't know we have uh, seven and a half million square feet of office space. Well, you know. I, I mean, that's a lot of space. I listened to you this morning. Mm. I texted the poor treasurer. Now, listen, the treasurer worked up through July 1st, right? Yeah. Putting this budget together and then doing the helping the governor with the 25 right, items. Right. So I'm right. hoping he's on vacation, but I sent him a text. Yeah. And I said, you know, Spadey's on the radio. He's trashing you because you have all these leases. What's yeah. up with that? And what he did he, say? he did say, and if I read it to you, I won't understand it myself, but he did say that. Break, he could have been asleep. The breakdown is, I'm sure I woke him up, but I'm the acting governor this week, so he has that's to get up. That's how it works. Right? There you go. Right? Governor's like ask the governor in the morning, right? <laughs> so poor Fort Scudder is going to wonder why he moved back to New Jersey. He says, anyway, on page D419, yeah. it will list the leases and tell you where they are. All right, Alex, and, do you hear that? Page D419. Yeah. That's and if good. if not, I'll get it for you. And you know what? Yeah. Most of them are lease back purchase, lease purchase yeah. agreements, and we're just paying rent to the EDA until we can buy the building. Right. That's what I'm told. All anyway, right. That's his- it's interesting. All right. I want to ask because you know one of those buildings is uh, the old NJN building. Yes. It's in Trenton. Now that yes. is, from my understanding, that is almost completely vacant, save for a couple security guys that are there. So it's little things like that. Like we walked through it because we had, we had looked at that building, and it was literally it would have taken an act of the legislature. To, uh, to well, if you want to buy space. the building, you know, all we have to do is go to the j and, and try to figure out how to sell it to you. That's you know, <laughs> it's, I'm good with that. Well, I don't want to buy it. All right. We'll oh. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not here to help. Uh, all right. It is oh. 8, 817 on New Jersey 101.5. Greg, Mike, I'll get to you in a minute. Uh, but right now, traffic and weather coming up next. The Lester Glenn Family of Dealerships presents Ask the Governor. We're calling about the proposed gas tax. Everybody seems to be pushing this. No, I'm not. It's nothing more detrimental to the economy and causes more inflation than a gas tax. Don't worry about me. I will insist on tax fairness in this state. And if I don't get it, I won't move forward. It's just that simple. Ask the Governor. Made possible by Lester Glenn Subaru. Route 37 West in Toms River. The way car buying and leasing should be. Ask the Governor is also made possible in part by the CSI Group, New Jersey's premier tax estate and estate planning professionals. Visit them online at csicpa.com. 
So do you need to sell your home? You know, I spent a couple decades in the real estate business, and I can tell you, I know firsthand how stressful selling a home can be. Let me tell you, let's make it easy for you. All you got to do is call the official real estate agent of New Jersey 101.5. His name is Rob Dukansky, and he's with REMAX First Advantage. Now, here's what Rob is going to do. He and his team will sit down with you, and you're going to set a price for your home. And then you're going to set a deadline. And if your home is not sold by that deadline, don't worry about it. Rob and his team are going to buy your home from you. No risk on your part. Not only that, but if he's not doing his job, he's going to let you out of the contract free and clear. you got to give Rob a call today. He is the official real estate agent of New Jersey 101.5. Give him a call at 855-350-1015. That's 855-350-1015. Or visit him online at robsellsnj.com. That's robsellsnj.com and start packing. Mako of Ewing, America's Body Shop, 1460 Prospect Street, Ewing. When it comes to the new pork roll breakfast sandwich, Dunkin' Donuts does not mess around. Say hello to smoky, savory pork roll with egg and cheese on a flaky croissant. This Jersey classic takes flavor to a whole other level. That first bite is like, whoa, this breakfast sandwich brings it. Roll with Dunkin' Donuts' new pork roll breakfast sandwich all summer long. America runs on Dunkin'. Price participation may vary. Limited time offer. Dunkin' Donuts presents Tasty Anticipation. T-minus 10 seconds till my culotta. One sip of refreshing blue raspberry, and I'm in the summer mindset. Here comes my culotta. Here comes fun. Sip up summer at Dunkin' with any small frozen beverage for $1.99 from 12 to 6 p.m. Enjoy a strawberry banana fruit smoothie or an indulgent hot chocolate now frozen. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer plus bookable taxes. Sip in summer at Dunkin' Donuts. Enjoy any small frozen beverage for $1.99 from 12 to 6 p.m. America runs on Dunkin'. Plus applicable taxes. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. 819 on New Jersey 101.5. Here's your fast traffic. We still have that accident on the parkway, northbound local lanes approaching 116. That's being cleared from the shoulder. And then volume delays northbound between 151 and 153. On the turnpike, you still have a stall. Southbound truck lanes approaching exit 11. That has been moved off to the shoulder. We have an accident now by the Meadowlands. Route 3 westbound at 120. That blocks the left lane. That's causing delays in both directions. Also westbound 80 at exit 52 in Fairfield. An accident being cleared from the shoulder. Eastbound is slow from exit 37 to 43. In Bridgewater, northbound 287 at exit 10. An accident still being cleared from the shoulder. And you have delays on 280 eastbound from the parkway to exit 15. Leaving New Jersey, still an hour at the Lincoln Tunnel. 30 minutes at the Holland, down to 5 minutes at the George Washington Bridge. Adam Walski, New Jersey Traffic North. Kyra DeFalco, New Jersey traffic south. We're slow in Deptford, northbound 55 up towards Route 42, and then 42 northbound is going to be slow from Black Horse Pike up towards 295. In West Windsor, one southbound slows between Washington Road and Alexander Road, and leaving New Jersey at the Ben Franklin Bridge, you will tap the brakes with delays mid-span. This report is brought to you by the Goddard School. Join your local Goddard School on Thursday, July 14th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. for an ice cream social open house. Visit goddardschool.com. Participation may vary. Traffic every 15 minutes. Our next report to 833 from the all-new DCN Hyundai Traffic Desk. I'm Cara DeFalco on New Jersey 101.5. 821 on New Jersey 101.5. Here's your instant weather with meteorologist Dan Zarrow. A stretch of hot and humid weather taking grass for the Garden State through the rest of the work week. At least it's going to be nearly dangerous heat. So you got to take care of yourself out there. Stay hydrated. Take breaks. And please make sure you're taking care of your pets in this heat. They feel it just as bad, if not worse, than you do. Hazy sunshine turning to scattered clouds later on today. Highs lower to mid-90s. The heat index, what it feels like, approaching 100 today. Very muggy and warm tonight as lows only fall to the 70s. That's a big problem during heat waves when it just does not cool down at night. You can't refresh yourself. It's just you can't get comfortable. Hot and humid again tomorrow. Partly sunny. Chance for a thunderstorm. Highs again in the 90s with heat index approaching 100. Now Friday, a slightly better chance for scattered showers and storms. But where it doesn't rain, it's still going to be hot and humid. Highs upper 80s to lower 90s. Heat index still in the upper 90s to around 100 degrees. Hopefully we get a little bit of a break from the humidity at least heading into the upcoming weekend. Looks like the weekend's going to be dry too, as long as you don't mind the summertime heat sticking around.
New Jersey weather made possible by Credit Union of New Jersey. What's your wish this summer? To go on vacation? Building a backyard oasis? Updating your summer wardrobe? CUNJ has loans to fit any of your lifestyle needs. With a special limited time rate and no payments for 90 days, let CUNJ grant your summer wish. Visit CUNJ.org for complete details and to apply online or call 609-789-0796. Some restrictions may apply. Old Bridge 78, Tuckerton 76, and Mount Laurel 78. From the SansoneAuto.com Weather Desk, I'm meteorologist Dan Zaro. Join Big Joe Henry this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for the Haskell Classic Car Show at Monmouth Park. Go back in time with your favorite rides from years past. Walk through more than 150 classic cars dating back to the 1930s. Visit nj1015.com and find out more. It, it is 823 on New Jersey 101.5. Oh, we're on morning. the radio? We're back on the air. I don't know the answer to that first one. Well, Mike has a question. <laughs> okay. I, I, you know, well, I don't know the answer either. It's, it's a really detailed question that Mike has. So I'm talking with Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano, and uh, this is our regular series, Digging In With Kim. Uh, because like me, uh, Kim Godano and Joe Piscopo, there are a few of us. Joe, too. Yeah. Who, who have just said, we are digging in. We're not leaving. This is our home. Did you see um, him this morning? I don't mean to change the subject too, quick, I didn't. too quickly. Yeah. We he tweeted it out. Kim tweeted it out. He, he had a hat on. He had a full suit on. Where, where was he, he going? a jacket on. I think he was going to work. Joe he, was. I don't know where he was going to work. But I wonder was, where he was going. Maybe he was doing an event. It was there. hot. He's busy. He's always in a suit. Like, we, we've had him on the show. He's coming. Like, he, he's always in a suit. Hmm. He's got that kind of Reagan thing going. You know, he was he was going <laughs> to run for hot. office. Well, you Joe. should run for office. Oh no, no, Joe Piscopo. That was see, oh, that look was at that. Tea. See, you can't. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen <laughs> on know. this show. That's you know why I do that. Oh, I get ambushed here all the time. It's <laughs> <laughs> they pay um, me a lot of money in the studio to come in and. I was going to say up. they. they do. I, I, I think I so. get They're separate like, tweets just, from them on the way in. That's what I. I was wondering what you who you look at the smile. You know what's happening. I know it is. I know it is. So. So, Kim, real quick, I, I want to get to these calls because yeah. my guess is, you know, Mike's let's get Mike's call on, because even though you may not know the answer to that question, um, my guess is that part of the driving conversation in the state now is what about these little things? How many little things can be tweaked and how long does it take? And what is our prospect for the future? Mike in Waterford, you're on New Jersey 101.5 with Lieutenant Governor Kim Godano. Good morning. Hey, Mike. Good morning. Uh, good morning, both of you. Uh, Steve uh, Philip Phil, Philip Lope Lope the you talking um, about Steve Philip the mayor of Jersey yeah, City the, uh, right all right and he we got you. this up on the Mike Aaron show which I literally fell off the chair when he brought it up because it was like what did he well, bring up because he really he hit a nerve and the nerve is what, what he said was really what's been going on for decades why does New Jersey have an insurance broker which is Strong Connor and Bucklew which is strongly affiliated, if not owned, by King George Norcross. And you brought this up at Mike Aaron's show, and I'm like, Whoa. Isn't New Jersey self-insured? I'm not sure which, in, which yeah, I don't know. what project you're talking about. I think New Jersey itself is self-insured, so maybe there are independent con contracts with, I, I don't even, I'm not even going to guess. But New yeah. Jersey itself okay. is self-insured, so. So, Mike, okay, the, now, the, let me ask you this. Uh, let me just say this. Go ahead. The people I've talked to and everything, it's like the politicians, they're taking good people, such as the fourth grader next to you, out of character. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the fourth Thanks, Mike. A student, okay? But, but it's taking us out of character. I mean, I, I work for government. I work for the private sector. And it's two, two different worlds. I mean, it's like, it's just unbelievable. And yeah. that's why New Jersey's in this situation, you know, and, and Illinois and Florida and California. We are Greece. What, what to what is it to the EU? Well, you, over in, uh, yeah, but you, you know why Illinois is in trouble. Illinois is in trouble because they passed that resolution to make everybody pay the pension first before everything else. Which, by the way, which is on our ballot is in what, November is what the legislature in New Jersey is thinking of doing. So, if anybody thinks it's a good idea to put the pension in the Constitution, pension payments in the Constitution itself at the expense of all else. Take a look well, at Illinois. Kim, that, that's the thing, and it's a very serious point. So I said earlier that I think that the devil is in the details. I think we could find a couple hundred million here, a million here, a million there. Having said that, uh, it's going to be impossible to do the big things on the end of fiscal responsibility, but the big things are being done to us on the other side because if that passes as an amendment to our Constitution, then that $1.5 billion annual payment 
comes before every single other thing. Every single other thing. And you've heard the governor talk about it, too. Yeah. So I think in November, because people have kind of a short term, especially this week and everybody. I know, on. I know. So in, in November, we need to come back and talk about that. Because if that goes in the Constitution, yeah. that means we pay the pension before all else. All uh, else. Everything. Schools. Hospitals, Cops. everything. Right. All right, Daryl Canary, hang in there. I'm going to get to you, but right now it is 827 on New Jersey 101.5. Eric Scott, coming back with your news next. All right, you know I love to run. Let me tell you something. A couple years ago, I had some issues with my knees. No more. Want to know why? I went to Trinity Rehab. And let me tell you the two things that changed my life, and they can change yours. One is the NASA-inspired anti-gravity machine called the Alter-G. It allows you to rehab on as little as 20% of your body weight. That and cutting-edge state-of-the-art technology called EPAT. EPAT is the most advanced technology on the market. It is FDA-approved, non-invasive shockwave therapy that breaks down the scar tissue in your body and allows your body to heal by growing new collagen tissue whether you've got back pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, tennis, elbow, most people feel significantly better in only three five-minute sessions, and you don't need a prescription. Trinity Rehab will be happy to talk to you at one of their now six New Jersey locations, Matawan, Middletown, East Brunswick, Brick and Howell, and their brand new location ooh, their brand new location in Tom's River, 732-219-5700. That's 732-219-5700. Trinity Rehab, it's time to feel better once and for all, don't you think? 732-219-5700. It's not a team without t-shirts. Custom t-shirts from Custom Ink are the easy way to connect any group. Our online design lab makes it simple to create a shirt design that your group will love. Or you can easily upload your own logo. Whether you need one shirt or thousands, Custom Ink can print any size order. And we know you can't wait for your new t-shirts. That's why we offer free shipping and on-time delivery is guaranteed. Get a free price quote today at custominc.com. We're excited to announce that the pharmacy you trust is now in the store you love. Because CVS Pharmacy is now at Target. So you can expect more, even when it comes to your health. Our CVS pharmacists give expert advice on everything, from dosage instructions to side effects to drug interactions. We'll help fill your prescriptions while you fill your shopping cart. CVS Pharmacy, now at Target. From the Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital Studios, this is New Jersey 101.5. Pinpoint accuracy, greater results. The Lori Proton Therapy Center at Robert Wood Johnson, rwjprotontherapy.com. It's 830. I'm Eric Scott. Story of a driver who's lucky to be alive this morning after a 10-pound piece of metal came rocketing through his windshield on Route 80. It shattered his windshield, left him terrified. A few inches to the left, it would have hit him right in the face. He was able to pull over safely. We have no idea what the metal is and don't know where it came from. Urgent care centers in New Jersey are satisfying the public's growing need to be seen quickly for medical issues. But a Jersey doctor is issuing a warning this morning. These facilities are not always the answer. A trip to the ER may be needed to save both time and your life. Dr. Mark Wasiga with the emergency room at Central State Medical Center in Freehold says he's seen confusion both ways from patients and their families. People come into the ER with issues that aren't so serious while others go to urgent care centers with symptoms of a heart attack. Don't show up to the urgent care center because they're going to try to stabilize you and do something for you but ultimately they're going to need to call an ambulance and transfer you over to an ER. While urgent care centers may get you in and out quicker and could save you money, Dr. Wasiga says it's more important to get to the correct facility. Dean Flamia, New Jersey, 101.5 News. So what symptoms should you never ignore and go directly to the ER? Check out the full story at nj1015.com this morning. The owner of the Taj Mahal defending his management of the casino as workers continue to picket on strike and demanding restoration of pension and health benefits. Carl Icahn says he's pumped $86 million into the Taj when nobody else wanted it, saving jobs. Hillary Clinton will be in AC today bashing Donald Trump for the way he ran his former casino empire, but the union says their beefs with Icahn, not with Trump. Hillary Clinton did lie about having classified U.S. secrets on her personal email server when she was Secretary of State. And the FBI says it is possible either her emails or others she sent emails to had their accounts hacked. However, despite the FBI director's blistering statement excoriating Clinton's handling of national secrets, they are recommending no criminal charges be filed against her. New Jersey 101.5 News Time 832. 
New Jersey Fast Traffic is next. This is the Edison Heating and Cooling Newsroom. If I'm already going 15 over the speed limit, why the heck do you need to go and tailgate me? Dominski and Doyle. Okay, Are you now, in wait the left minute. lane? Are you in the left lane? Yes. Why don't you I'm just... I'm going to go 95. Well, I'm then get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dominski and Doyle, weekday afternoons 2 till 7 on New Jersey 101.5 and NJ1015.com. Fios is not cable. We're wired differently. We're a 100% fiber optic network, and fiber optics move at the speed of light. So in the 60 seconds it takes to listen to this ad, you could upload 600 photos from your camera roll to your newsfeed. And in the time it takes to pack a weekend bag, you could download 75 songs. That's ideal for any last minute road trip. And only Fios gives you equal upload and download speeds, so you can share and video chat better and faster. That's the power of fiber optics. Right now, get our best offer ever. Super fast 100 meg internet, TV and phone for just $69.99 a month online for one year. All with no annual contract. Go to GetFios.com or call 888-GET-FIOS to learn more. Speeds this fast at a price this good? Cable can't do that. Only Fios can. Upload and download times based on 1.25 megabyte photos and 5 megabyte songs at 100 megs. Actual speeds will vary. Fios available in select areas. Online offer for new bundle customers only. Rate goes up after first year. Taxes, FDBA, RSN, and other fees and other terms may apply. New Jersey 101.5 News Time 833. Now New Jersey 101.5 Fast Traffic. That stalled truck has been cleared on the turnpike. Southbound truck lanes approaching exit 11. All lanes have been reopened. And the accident on the parkway was cleared. Northbound local lanes approaching 116. It's still busy northbound from 151 up to 153. And we have an accident by the Meadowlands. Westbound Route 3 by 120. That blocks the left lane. Slow traffic eastbound through the area onto 495. And it's pretty slow westbound on 80 at exit 52 in Fairfield. With an accident still being cleared from the shoulder. Eastbound is heavy from exit 39 to 43. Delays on 78. Westbound from exit 52 to 48. In Bridgewater, we still have that accident 287. Northbound at exit 10, that's on the shoulder. And it's slow through Edison on northbound 287 from exit 1 to 3. And if you're leaving New Jersey at the George Washington Bridge, we are down to five minutes to the upper level. That's the way to go. Still 45 at the Lincoln Tunnel and 30 minutes at the Holland Tunnel. Adam Walski, New Jersey Traffic North. Kyra DeFalco, New Jersey traffic south. We're still heavy northbound 55 through Deptford up towards Route 42, then 42 northbound slow from Black Horse Pike to 295. In Princeton, one northbound is slow from Baker's Basin Road up towards Quaker Bridge Road, and then in West Windsor, one southbound slow from Washington Road to Alexander Road. Leaving New Jersey from the Ben Franklin Bridge, we've got heavy delays. That is because the traffic lights are not working on the Philadelphia side of the bridge. And New Jersey traffic is made possible by Mercedes-Benz of Princeton and Mercedes-Benz of Flemington. Summer's heating up, and so are exceptional offers during the Mercedes-Benz summer event. Qualified customers only can get up to $4,000 towards to le- select Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Call for details. Family owned and value driven. One legendary brand, two great locations. Traffic every 15 minutes. Our next report at 848 on New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey 101.5 News Time 835. Dan has an update on the very hot forecast and the Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey business report next. That 23 cents was a disaster and you stopped it. Hear about it. Talk about it. You are a New Jersey hero. On New Jersey 101.5. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. It takes a lot of courage to face your own death, but I'm glad I finally did. See, I was putting off getting life insurance to protect my family, even though I knew it was important. Then my neighbor's husband died. I watched her struggle emotionally and financially. It really made me face reality. If my husband died, how would I pay the mortgage, the car payments, or keep up the life the kids and I had? I realized I needed to get us life insurance right away. So I called AIG Direct. In less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing my family has protection. Call AIG Direct right now for a free no-obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes, and you can save up to 70%. Call now, 1-800-500-5236. That's 1-800-500-5236. 1-800-500-5236. If you're drowning in IRS debt and can't afford to pay, then you need to take advantage of special IRS tax programs that are available and free yourself from IRS collection efforts once and for all. Due to the financial hardship consumers are facing during the decline in the U.S. economy, the Internal Revenue Service has made it easier 
to settle delinquent tax problems. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Take down this number or store it in your cell phone, but call the Community Tax Helpline at 800-500-5588. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back, or even if you have years of unfiled tax returns, there's no need to fear anymore. But you have to call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-500-5588 for the help that you need. Don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your Social Security check. Call 800-500-5588 for your free consultation and to see if you qualify. That's 800-500-5588. Auto Lenders, there's never been a better time to check out all the low mileage, one owner certified cars at Auto Lenders. With more makes and models than any other dealership, see the full selection at AutoLenders.com or at any of their six New Jersey locations. The Auto Lenders pre market trading report shows Wall Street ready to engage in another sell off as global markets move sharply lower. The Dow is off 106 points in early trading. Now the Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey business report. The U.S. trade deficit climbed in May. A surge in imports of Chinese-made cell phones and computers pushed the politically sensitive imbalance with China to the highest level in six months. Now this from Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Your sight and smile are important parts of your total health. That's why Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey offers affordable nationwide dental and vision plan options, plus health plans with dozens of wellness programs and discounts. Visit horizonblue.com slash plans to enroll today. Now, New Jersey 101.5 instant weather. Starting off this morning with hazy sunshine with scattered clouds building in this afternoon. But the big weather story for the rest of the week is going to be the heat and humidity. High temperatures today, lower to mid-90s, but the heat index, the feels-like temperature in the upper 90s to near 100 degrees. That's what the apparent temperature is to your body. You have to take care of yourself out there as your body can't regulate its own temperature, just can't sweat as well as normal. Stay hydrated and stay cool. Very muggy and warm tonight. Lows only fall to the 70s. We do it again tomorrow back into the 90s with the heat index near 100. There is a chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Better chance for rain into, into Friday. New Jersey weather made possible by Jennifer Furniture. Jennifer's July 4th event is going on now. Celebrate with sleepers starting at $349. Contemporary sectional starting at only $599. Plus get additional savings with bonus coupons. See store for details. Hurry in while supplies last now at Jennifer Furniture. 79 in Clark. Freehold 79. Mount Holly is 79. Download our free app. Listen live anywhere, anytime. And get instant New Jersey news, weather, and traffic from New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey 101.5, our own radio station. Not New York, not Philadelphia. Proud to be New Jersey. New Jersey 101.5. Coming up on 840 on New Jersey 101.5. Good morning. I'm Bill Spadia with you at 10 o'clock this morning. Talking Jersey, taking your calls. 1-800-283-101.5. We're here digging in with Kim. I'm joined by Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. Kim, thanks for... Sticking with me this morning. Thanks crazy. for having me today. I realized there was a it's whole Wednesday. topic that, yes. that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, we even failed. We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> no, we, I don't think we're going to get there. If, if you can stick around to nine, we're gonna, we can get there. All right. Is we'll that all right? We'll try. All right. Let's, let's, because I, I think this the budget conversation is so important because just what we were talking about earlier, and I've had this conversation with listeners over the last couple of weeks, that there's a lot of sensationalism that goes in. And, and, you know, you kind of pointed the finger in my direction. I was going to say, I you kind it. of made some of this up. Well, well, that's a bit. Because you're jaded. I am jaded. And I'm digging I, I, in. Uh, but I'm also digging in. I, so here's the issue. When you, <laughs> when you pull up this, this list, right. right? So you got list after list after list, thousands and thousands of line items Correct. spending. What the average person in New Jersey feels right now, based on our calls, based right. on what we see on the website, on Twitter, et cetera is that everybody's jaded because they feel like the government's not being honest with us. So when I say, um, my guess is, out of all those leases, somebody knows somebody. There isn't a person in New Jersey that doesn't believe at least one of those leases is somebody politically connected to somebody else. That's the, that's the common understanding in New Jersey. Now, well, the, it, that's not a level of evidence. Right. That's well, just, there's a lack of trust. Well, I, I understand that. It's, it's the government. Everybody, nobody trusts yeah, the government. Nobody but trusts it, them. It, it, including myself in many cases. I, so. I, that's why I can have this conversation <laughs> so, with you. So you go through each one of the leases and you check it out. Now, if right. even if it's a connected lease, let's, it still as you're defining, it's bad. Right, let's just make sure it's the lowest possible right. price for the taxpayers. Absolutely. Yes. So if any of your listeners know of anybody who you th- who they think is right. getting over on us, let me know. Yeah, I, and I know Call you'll in. act on that. 
Canary in South Jersey, you're on New Jersey 101.5. Good morning. Good morning, Lieutenant Governor and fourth grader. Good to talk to you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it's better than bamboo. I guess, I guess. Right, better than bamboo. Fair enough. Your, ap- your appetite. Well, I'll make this brief. I was in state government. I thought of myself as a reformer. Just as a bit of history, I called, asked the governor twice and got through, so I should probably get a medal like Dick Dastardly used to give Muttleaf, you know, and I complained. Uh, one time, a cabinet officer, former cabinet officer, was on there, promised me an email response, zero. And I'd love to review this with you, by the way, the tape. This so what's the Christmas issue, though, Canary? Canary, what's the issue? Approval. What did you want a response on? Two issues. The first one is what you talked about. When I was in government, a guy who was a, a, the uh, director of a small agency, and, and it was a rented building, after he knew me for a couple of years and trusted me, and we're from the same town, he brought me in the back office. He said, you see this building? It's a piece of crap. It's small. And you won't believe what they're paying for rent. The person's connected. And he said, I, I identified a building right up the road. It's so, perfect. So give it's us the name of the building. Yeah, tell I, us. I, I, without talking to that What's guy. What's the big secret? This is government. I could ruin right. his life. I could ruin his life, uh, Lieutenant Governor. Well, I don't want in his you name. Know, I, I don't want his name. Don't do, don't do that. But give me the address. And if you're not comfortable doing it on the radio, you, we can put you on hold or do something and, and get the address. If, you, if your promise is real, the governor's promise was not real. Oh, okay, now, I, well, I'm not, not I, I don't that. know what promise that was, and no. I'm not going to, uh, So, you know. Canary, we're going to put you on hold. We'll get your information. And because, look, this is part of this process of how we dig in to the state we got to dig out of the mess that we're in and what i've been suggesting and 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 kim you and i've had this conversation that there there is an opportunity in some of these line items the governor showed it the other day he did you know, vetoing 300 million dollars i am suggesting very strongly that there's at least another 300 million in there probably more and i think that if we get to the bottom of it that's how you can offset the potential of a future tax well and you know what right? the problem with all that is I mean, we did that yeah. the first budget we did, 2010. Yeah. We were a couple billion in the hole when we walked in the door. I know. And I then know. another 10 billion in the hole for the second budget. Right. We went through the budget. I mean, we sat in the treasurer's office yeah. days doing line by line by line by line. And when we lined itemed out hundreds, hundreds of things, yeah. the people revolted. You know, right. it's it's uh, you know, it's not in my backyard kind of attitude. It, right. it, if 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 it's my money and it's helping my group or my special interest, then don't touch that. Go someplace. See, else. that's the issue. And I I had this conversation with Declan O'Scanlan, our mutual friend, and mm-hmm. and Declan said, look, he was tweeting this openly, saying there has to be some pain. And I said, well, Declan, I don't know anybody in New Jersey that's not feeling pain right now. The people that ought to feel the pain are the legislators. They're the ones that ought to go back to their constituents and say, I'm sorry building owner, I'm sorry, contractor, I'm sorry, road builder, whoever you are, you are not going to get X because I've got to look out for the lion's share of the taxpayers in my community. That conversation, I don't think is happening. Maybe now it's starting. Well, I think if we keep talking about it, yeah. uh, you know, I know we worked very hard over the last six and a half years to make sure there wasn't any waste in the government. We, and if there is waste, call it, call it out. The, right. There's an inspector general, there's an auditor, um, everything is available online, and, yeah. and each one of the cabinet members is supposed to justify every single penny they spend. Right. And if we're not doing that, call us out. And you can, you have, the ultimate power is in the hand of the guy who goes to the polling place. Can I ask you, how different would it have been, honestly, if there was a Republican legislature? If, you didn't, if it wasn't Steve Sweeney, but it was, uh, you know, you, you had uh, Mike Doherty or Jen Beck or any one of these others that have been consistently uh, focused on cutting spending, changing the state, how different would this budget year have looked? What do you think? Silence. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, I only wish that that would happen. But, you know, we're out registered yeah. by 700,000 people. I know. Yeah, or voters. It's just not going to happen. So it's, well, you live in the world that I live in the here and now. Yes. And we'll go through the budget. Pick out some items and we'll start cutting. That's what we got to do. All right. All right. We got, we've got the start of a plan to fix New Jersey. 846 on New Jersey 101.5. Traffic and weather next. New Jersey 101.5. Sip in summer at Dunkin' Donuts. Enjoy any small frozen beverage for $1.99 from 12 to 6 p.m. America runs on Dunkin'. Plus applicable taxes. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. 
It's the biggest July 4th tent sale ever. Going on at the Tri-State's largest volume auto mall, Sandstone Auto Mall in Woodbridge, New Jersey. With 10 brands to choose from and over 4,000 vehicles, including Toyota, Jeep, Nissan, Hyundai, Mazda, Kia, and more. Plus guaranteed financing and a $2,500 bonus check towards your new vehicle purchase. It's the biggest July 4th tent sale ever. On Route 1 in Woodbridge or SandstoneAuto.com. The following is a paid commercial announcement. Fringe special interest groups. They'll say anything to push their own extreme agenda, like the ridiculous attack ads on the Penn East Pipeline. The truth? Penn East Pipeline is a billion dollar construction project that will support thousands of good paying jobs in our area while meeting and exceeding federal safety standards. And experts found Penn East would have saved families and businesses almost a billion dollars in one recent winter season. A billion dollars. Most New Jersey homes already rely on safe pipelines to deliver natural gas. And now, as more clean burning natural gas generates our electricity, carbon emissions are dropping to the lowest levels in two decades. Lower energy costs and cleaner air? That's right, it's a win-win for New Jersey. Thousands of jobs. Cleaner air. Lower cost American energy. Reject the desperate attacks from discredited extremist groups. Learn the facts and add your voice at PennEastPipeline.com. Paid for by Penn East Pipeline. We've got the sun. Fun, 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 fun. We've got the sand. Fun, 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 fun. We've got the hoagie fest all summer. Fun, 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 fun. We're hitting the surf. Fun, 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 fun. Getting out on the turf. Fun, 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 fun. We've got the hoagie fest all summer. Hoagie fest is back. Get ready for your most memorable summer yet, because all classic hoagies are just $4.99. Gotta have a Wawa. Limited time only. See store for details. It's Hoagie Fest at Wawa, and we're giving away hundreds of prizes to Wawa Rewards members, like t-shirts, towels, and credit to your Wawa Rewards account. Every time you use the Wawa app to purchase a classic hoagie, you'll earn a chance to win. You'll also be entered into the sweepstakes every time you use the Wawa app to pay. So the more you celebrate Hoagie Fest, the better your chances are of winning. Download the app and opt in today. Limited time only. No purchase necessary. See sweepstakes rules for details and restrictions at wawarewards.com. Listen each weekday morning at 8.30 for the Auto Lenders Futures Report. Eric Scott looks at factors that could cause the stock market to rise or fall that day. Made possible by Auto Lenders, a smarter way to buy a car with six New Jersey locations. 849 on New Jersey 101.5. Here's your fast traffic. Still busy on the parkway, northbound local lanes at 116, but an accident has been cleared and still a bit heavy from 148 up to 151. And on the turnpike, southbound truck lanes approaching exit 11, that stalled truck has been cleared. We still have that accident though in Fairfield, westbound 80 at exit 52, that's being cleared from the shoulder. Eastbound is still slow from exit 39 to 43. And we still have that accident working by the Meadowlands, westbound route three at 120, that's blocking the left lane eastbound is slow through the area in Bridgewater accident cleared northbound 287 at exit 10 and in Colts Neck southbound 18 near exit 22 there is an accident involving a dump truck that is blocking at least one lane leaving New Jersey at the Lincoln Tunnel still 45 minutes it's 30 minutes back to New Jersey with construction getting underway on 495 in Hoboken at the link the uh, Holland Tunnel rather it's still 30 minutes leaving New Jersey and we're down to about five minutes at the George Washington Bridge. Adam Walski, New Jersey Traffic North. Cara DeFalco, New Jersey Traffic South, and we are still slowed northbound 55 in Deptford up towards Route 42. 42 northbound is then slowed from Black Horse Pike up towards 295. In Princeton, one northbound slows from Baker's Basin Road to Quaker Bridge Road. In West Windsor, one southbound slows from Washington Road to Alexander Road. And as you leave New Jersey from the Ben Franklin Bridge, things are jammed because traffic lights are not working in Philadelphia. It's going to be heavy clear across the span. This report is brought to you by the Goddard School. Join your local Goddard School on Thursday, July 14th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m for an ice cream social open house. Visit goddardschool.com. Participation may vary. Traffic every 15 minutes. Our next report at 9.03 from the all-new DCN Hyundai Traffic Desk. I'm Cara DeFalco on New Jersey 101.5.
851 on New Jersey 101.5. Here's your instant weather with meteorologist Dan Zaro. Bottom line, heat and humidity taking hold of the Garden State over the next three days at least with 90 plus degree temperatures. That'll make it an official heat wave. It's almost a sure bet at this point. Hazy sunshine this morning with scattered clouds building this afternoon. Highs today, lower to mid 90s. The heat index making it feel like the upper 90s to near 100 when you factor in the humidity. Very muggy and warm tonight. And that's the problem with these streaks of hot weather is you just don't cool down. You can't refresh in the morning. Lows only fall into the lower to mid 70s. We're back into the 90s tomorrow to feel like 100. There's a chance for an afternoon thunderstorm. Slightly better chance for showers and thunderstorms into Friday, but where it doesn't rain, it'll still be hot and humid. Around 90 degrees for a high. The heat index still around 100. Hopefully we'll get some relief from the humidity as we get into this weekend. New Jersey weather made possible by A.J. Perry. They'll clear any drain anytime for only 99 bucks. That's over half off. Call 888-375-1894 or go to ajperry.com. Right now, Somerville, uh, Somerset is 77. Forked River, already up to 80. And Princeton, 78. From the SansoneAuto.com Weather Desk, I'm meteorologist Dan Zaro. 8.52 on New Jersey, 101.5. Good morning, I'm Bill Spadia. I'm here till 10 o'clock this morning, talking Jersey. Taking your calls, 1-800-283-101.5. We are uh, hanging with Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. So... Uh, Kim, you had a whole thing you wanted to talk about, but can I just get your take real quick? You're not going to let me talk about good things in New Jersey. I know, and the whole idea of this digging in with Kim is to talk about the good. There's a lot of really great stuff going on. See, got you back. I know. (laughs) Can I just ask you a quick question? You can. The, The prospect of the governor killing this deal with Pennsylvania that would that would take away this 38 year agreement that people are paying taxes in their home state so people have relocated out to pennsylvania keeping the job here they're not paying jersey did taxes anybody know that was happening i had no did idea did anybody only people that knew that was happening were people that were moving to bucks county right <laughs> right, right? They knew. so they knew their but i had knew. no idea so now we're going to take a look at it we're going to find out why it happened in the first place yeah, yeah. And then we're going to figure out, as the former treasurer of New Jersey suggested, we're going to figure out whether or not it should continue. It doesn't sound like it should to me. He said it could be upwards of, well, he said $180 million, but that, that was, was a, low a year ball. or so. It was, yeah. had to be low. This could be hundreds of millions of dollars. There you go. Right. So, again, it's the Do you things. really want to give the legislature another $100 million? Well, um, here's what I suggested. I suggested this yesterday, and Lou Greenwald specifically. I said, if you are opposed to this, then you go find $180 million in the budget that you want to cut out. Well, that's like those two appropriation budget uh, right. items that they sent. If you want $10 million more in the right. budget, go find someplace else to cut it and put it in the budget. Yeah. But this is the frustrating thing because, you know, the website is going to take someone days and weeks to go through and really pinpoint everything. This is what well, At least I there's think, a website. Now, we started the website. At least there's a website. I love the website, yeah. but I'd like to see our legislators spend their time with their staff going through this, and they ought to all be tasked with coming up with $10 million each. Find the $10 million that you don't think uh, we need to spend, because I don't feel like there's that collaborative effort, because what you, what, you, know, you and I have said before, they're protecting their own. They're like, oh, I got to protect my uh, my constituents. Your I got to protect well, my that's donors. That's the nature of politics, though. This is our democracy in action. That's the way it is. Well, I, and I think the challenge is that people in New Jersey, and you see it, they, they, I'm sure you hear this all the time from small businesses especially, um, they just feel disconnected from their government. That something's going on behind that curtain that I, that I know you're telling me I can see it, but, I, but it's not, well, I'm still being know, hurt by it. That's really why I give out my cell phone number. Yeah. I mean, because you have to be accessible. I, I firmly believe there's only 8 million people in New Jersey and about half of them have my cell phone number and yeah. they have a right to pick up the phone and yell at me and they have recently. And they do, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they do. I love the TTF stuff. I must have sure you do. texts on That'll the be, uh, well, that, that, that issue will be coming back, I'm yeah, sure, in about will. a week. It oh, will. yes, it will. Yeah. So what, all right, uh, tell me about the conversations with Kim. Oh, you really are going to get back to the I'm good go- stuff? See that? See how I did that? <laughs> that wasn't even a right segue. Back. That was like squirrel. I- <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, they, they had keys out. Like, I go look that way. All right. So this summer, you mm-hmm. know, in the summertime, it's really slow. So yeah. I, last year, I did a bunch of um, uh, Tuesdays, Tourism Tuesdays, and we went out and we said, what do oh, you want to okay. do if it's not at the Jersey Shore? This year, we're going to do a couple of other things. We're going to dig in a little bit with people yeah. that are impacted by some of the things going on in Trenton. So, for example, this week, we're going to talk about with two fathers who came together through tragedy. They lost each of them independently. Each of them lost their sons, and mm. they're going to talk about a 501c3 that they set up to help to families on drugs. drugs yeah. You know, we have the number of people who die in New Jersey as a result of a drug overdose is 8.3 times higher than any place else in the country. That's sad. So you got to fix that. 
and at least we have to figure out how to fix that yeah. and and we're working on it and then next week we're going to talk to a bakery owner a fem- a woman owned bakery small yeah. tiny little bakery who uh has told me and my staff that if the fifteen dollar minimum wage goes in, she's done. She's out. Yeah. She she cannot continue. To Couldn't run afford to do it. Can't can't do it. And so we're going to live stream that on our Facebook page. That's great. And we're going to do it in a way. I hope that people take a look at it and yeah. think about it. That's all. I just need you to think about what right. will happen if we do these if we do these things in New Jersey you know, or don't. And it's, what you're saying there is so true. Like the, the the other side when they defend the minimum wage and that hike, they basically. Uh, completely ignore the concerns of those small business owners out there and say that's just an exaggeration. Maybe there's one that won't make the profits. And they've painted this picture that I think is very false. Well, I keep talking, you know, the big business people are up in arms. And I said to the big business people, I said, people don't care about you. With all due respect, they don't care about you. They care about the people that are not going to go to work. So the kids that aren't going to get the job because it's $15 minimum wage. And also the seniors. Right. You know, there are a whole group of seniors right now who are getting that extra $10,000 a year mm-hmm. who may not have jobs. So we're going to seek those seniors out and try to talk to them online about what it will happen to them if they lose their jobs. We want to talk to some high school kids, yeah. if we can, about what will happen to them if they don't get their, their you know, bus and tables in the sign. I don't right. know about you, but that's how I paid my way through college. I worked in a hardware store. No, nah, I waited tables. I built made a lot barrels. of money. Can you imagine? No. I know. <laughs> I can't even fix the... What's going on here? I can't even fix the headphones. I was building wheelbarrows. Can you imagine? <laughs> you you know, in a related that. story, wheelbarrows right. falling apart all over New Jersey. Um, well, Kim, it sounds good, and uh, and I, you know, I I love to hear it. I I appreciate that you come in here every two weeks, and we talk about the good things that are happening. This sounds like more of it. It is good. Don't make it bad. Well, you know, why do we have to be first in the bad things and last in the good things? That's right. really how we're looking at it. So right. why do we have to be one of the first to put pensions in the Constitution? Why do we have to be one of the first to put $15 in the Constitution? Right. Uh, let's see what happens when we do that. we got a lot more to talk about uh, with the uh, voters in the state for sure. And uh, Lieutenant Governor, always appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so Lieutenant Governor Kim Godano will be back in two weeks for digging in with Kim. And uh, I think in two weeks, actually, on the 20th, we're going to do it on a Wednesday as well because the schedule's changing and lots more to talk about. All right, Eric Scott's coming back with the news next. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Steve Trevelisse, Monday through Thursday evening, 7 to 11. I want to hear what you have to say. And I'm glad you're listening to what I have to say. On New Jersey 101.5 and NJ1015.com. All right, here's what I want you to do. Take a quick look in the mirror. What do you see? I'll give you a second. Right. You see those bags and puffiness under your eyes? How about simply getting rid of them? Introducing GenuCell from Chamonix. It's plant stem cell therapy specifically for bags and puffiness under your eyes. Here's what Rosa from New Jersey had to say. I felt the bags under my eyes firm up and the skin was glowing. Your product helped me reduce puffiness very fast and in a couple of weeks, I stopped using concealer altogether because of the improvement. Actually, I've gone a week without applying heavy makeup. I'd recommend it to anyone.